everyone. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys about how excited we are to be on Warp Tour for the very first time. Well, since Warp Tour is pretty new to us, we're trying not to expect anything. It's definitely going to be different than the regular club tour, like playing indoor venues and it being the same set, the same time every single night. It's going to be kind of fun. It's going to be different every day. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot more people and a lot more bands that we can check out every day. A lot of different bands that are going to hop on at certain times. And thankfully, we get to do the whole thing, so we'll be there the entire time. It's going to be awesome. Um, there have been rumors that spread about us releasing an album mid-June, but it's actually not going to be that soon. It's going to be probably at the end of summer, early fall. So, but yes, you can expect to hear some new tracks this summer. We're playing some new songs. As far as I know, all the bands that are on Warp Tour, I have seen at some time or another. I am really excited to see Sum 41. I've seen them one time at Bamboozle, and I'm just really excited to be able to see them a bunch. I am a huge fan of Four Year Strong, and I'm hoping they'll play a lot more of their new stuff. Here are a few Twitter questions from a few people. This is from at GoGoKey19. What's it feel like to know that your music has influenced so many lives? That's something that I always forget about because I kind of just automatically assume that we're just fun to listen to and um, I always forget that the lyrics actually have a message and that I actually do have something to say. And it's really fun to be able to, to see and, and hear people say that music, our music has helped them in some way. Um, it's really, it's a great feeling because it makes me feel like I'm not just doing this because I love it and it's my passion, but that I'm helping someone else with my lyrics and especially the music. It, I, I'm really happy it speaks to people. This is from Ga, an alien. <laughs> if your monkey had a monkey's uncle, what would you name him? If my monkey had a monkey's uncle, what would I name him? Probably Frank. I feel like Frank is a pretty neutral name. It could be a dog, it could be a monkey, um, a grandpa, especially a monkey's uncle. This is from at Neon NYX. What are two bands you would want to get stuck on a desert island with? Probably Blink-182 and I would love to get stuck on an island with No Doubt because they have a female singer and I feel like I could learn a lot from Gwen because she's been touring with dudes way longer than I have and it would be nice to have another gal on the island. And I wouldn't mind having our merch girl Beth be there too. This is from at Miss M. Tage. Cass, how do you manage to go on tour with so many boys? It's fun. I mean, there are certain times where I just, I miss being a girl and, and being able to talk about girl stuff. Um, but then again, the guys in my band are my best friends and they really do know how to to respect me as a girl so I don't have to rock around and see dudes in underwear everywhere and, and hear them talking about nasty boy stuff that girls don't really like. Granted, I, I have heard that stuff and, and you know, it's something that you just have to deal with. It's a compromise that you that you have um, to make in order to, to be able to live on the road with all these guys. This is from at um, He Ashley Blaze. What's your favorite thing to eat at McDonald's? Probably the bacon ranch salad. That's probably one of my favorite salads anywhere because it's just really, really good. And they give me an extra ranch packet because I like to douse it in, in uh, my salad and ranch. And the last question is from at Claudia. What was it like performing in front of a crowd for the first time? I honestly can't remember when I did that because I was so young. I had been singing since I was four and our voice coach would always put on these shows and she'd have all our students go out and, um, and just sing to tracks. The one I remember the most is when I first sang with a band. I was like 13, 14 years old and we played at a party. I think it was like a high school party and I remember just falling in love with it and knowing that's what I wanted to do. So thank you for your questions. See you at Warp Tour. Can't wait.